<clears throat> okay, welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Yeah. <laughs> What's it about, Yuri? Really, comrade. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, That's my okay. favorite. I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But I mean, it took you fucking forever. To <laughs> <read>. <laughs> but remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, Perhaps the subject of the poem is only being sim what? It's only being symbolically compared <sighs> to a ghost. Sorry, just enjoying a bit of vodka. <laughs> Lingering in her past <laughs> remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. And soon to be left with nothing. Wow, you're fucking depressing. Well, that's great now, but uh... Listen, uh, listen. See, see you later. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Raskovsky. It's nothing really. <laughs> Yours was impressive too, though. Nah! If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. It's almost turning into Dracula. <laughs> yep, that's yeah. fine. <laughs> you do the monster mash. <laughs> the monster mash! It was a graveyard smash! You think so? Yes, of course! Ah, ah, ah! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was really nervous about doing Jesus all this. Jesus Christ, does this ever end? <laughs> she fucking talks so much. But in the God, end, this is like I flirting in high school. I mean, yeah. Yeah. You know, that is exactly, That's exactly what it is. What it is. I, I don't know if I've ever talked to one girl for this long in high school. I'm gonna be honest. I've only ever talked to one. I've only ever flirted with one girl that was like this, and it took quite a long time before she was able to be like, "Are you asking me out?" <laughs> yeah, well, yes. Glad you noticed. It's so realistic, then. Yeah, I thought I might have to write a book about it. <laughs> In fact, I did. Sort of a million copies. I could hit you in, hit you in the head, and knock you out. Seriously, it's not thick. <laughs> I'll just start knocking. Um, anyways, ah, ah, ha. me too. You sound like um the, the vampire. Do who we does have to do all of them? Na, uh, yeah, we have to do uh, all of them. Do you, you know, uh, Monica. Uh, uh, Monica. Yeah, Monica. Ah, uh, yes. Mo Yes. What, what, what I'm gonna do that one, one next. Monica. Monica, you bloody idiot! Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Having a good time so far. Ah, oh, yes. Good. Glad to hear. By the way, since you're new, if you ever have any suggestions. For the club. Like new activities or things we can do better. Uh, I'm always listening. I'm always watching. <laughs> Don't be afraid to bring up things. Okay? <laughs> 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 Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. <laughs> of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Uh, anyway, want to share your poem? Why do you think I'm talking to you? <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> I'll kill you later. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Rob. <laughs> We're all a little embarrassed, today, you know. But it's that sort of bearing that we'll all learn. <laughs> get past soon. Yes, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Monica! Monica! Okay, fine. Oh my god. I hand Monica <laughs> my poem. <laughs> mm. Great job. It took you all of five seconds to read that. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. <laughs> 
I was going, ooh, ooh. your palms suck so bad. No. <laughs> it's really metaphorical. Reminds me of a pile of shit. <laughs> Not really sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so uh, deep. I guess I underestimated. I underestimated how much you suck at everything. It's easy for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That's why it always counts when I put in some effort. Ah uh, ha ha ha. That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked. Anyway, you know that urine likes that kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Obviously not! Unlike Sayori, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. She's, she is very simple. <laughs> <laughs> Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write like that effectively. Both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel or letting them deeply analyze all of the uh, nuances. It can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. <clears throat> I never really asked them. <clears throat> I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. <clears throat> Don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by Trying new things. <clears throat> I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. Hopefully this music changes, otherwise I'll go insane! <laughs> it could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd love to see you try new things. <clears throat> You're right there. Huh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the uh, best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little biased towards their own kinds of style. But I'll always help you to find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Ahaha. Ahaha! Ah, ah, ah. <clears throat> uh, anyway, <laughs> you want to, uh, read my poem now. Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. That's because I'm the fucking president. Well, <laughs> that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the wall. It couldn't have been me. Uh, can I read it as Obama? Yes. Oh <laughs> Hole in the wall. It couldn't have been me. See, the direction that Spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, <laughs> fly, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. I'm blind as fuck. <laughs> scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It wasn't too deep. It was too deep. <laughs> Stretching forever into everything. <clears throat> a hole of Infinite choice. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. That's terrifying. Um, who is he? So, what do you think? <laughs> hmm, it's very free form, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Ahahaha! <laughs> it's okay! <laughs> yeah. 
that kind of style has gone pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the time between words and lines. <laughs> when performed out loud, it can be really powerful. That was... What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, a hole in my wall. <laughs> I punched a hole in my wall. Ah. Keeping Tom. Uh, well, uh, I'm not really sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I uh, had some kind of epiphany. Recently. Oh my god! There's a hole in my wall. <laughs> 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 it's been... Influencing my poems. I suddenly realized I don't have a nose. <laughs> it's only a tiny dot. <laughs> and the epiphany. Yeah. Something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that. Because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway. Here is Monika's writing tip of the day. But nobody asked for it. Sometimes, when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you've tried so hard to make it perfect, and got so far, then you'll never make any progress. And it doesn't even matter. Just force yourself to get something down on paper. Tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a <laughs> big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and sign that executive order. <laughs> <laughs> That's my advice for today. I'm Barack Obama. Thanks for listening. <laughs> vote, vote Barack Obama, 2012. We're gonna choose someone to show our poem to next time. Why are you getting so close to me? I don't know, dude. I mean, I don't mind. I wanna save story for last. Okay, we'll do Natsuki next time on Wise Man Gaming. <laughs> next time on Wise Man Gaming! After uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> pee. Please leave that in the episode. So, what did you think about Barack Obama's poem? <laughs> he was, um. Uh, good. Uh, shit. Uh, you hit stop? No, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Give a listen to my latest poem. Uh, hole in the economy. What did you do? What do you mean? It, it does that. Uh, it does, it that, does that automatically. Yeah. Steve, turn up the music. Turn up the music. Uh. I'm gonna give me a straight jacket. <laughs> I wonder if we could like figure out if we, if we had like the sheet music for this, if we could play it like on the piano but like make a bunch of mistakes and like play it like out of tune. <laughs> <laughs> Like where you hit like multiple keys at the same time. <laughs> You're not meaning to. <laughs> But it's still like recognizable at the same song, it's just really like... It's just terrible. Yeah. And like some of the like... The like triangle hits are like slightly out of... <laughs>